Hey guys, it's Rich Man. Privacy, security, these aren't just words to be taken lightly anymore. With social media giants like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all grabbing every bit of your data and using it for their own profits. And then there's the tech giants like Google, Amazon, Apple, controlling everything you see and when you see it. It's time to take matters into your own hands to protect yourself, and I'm gonna help you do that right now. The internet began as an incredible communication device that allowed the entire world to come together in revolutionary ways. Instant communication to the other side of the planet has become commonplace. With a smartphone that you can carry in your pocket, you are able to call someone on the other side of the world for free and speak to them in real time. It's an amazing accomplishment for a civilization that only 200 years ago was using men on horseback to deliver messages that would take days or even weeks to deliver. Technology and innovation are wonderful things, but they also come at a price. As our knowledge progresses, we find ourselves more and more under the control of the tech giants and the people in positions of power that want to exploit us to further their own wealth and position. It's scary just how much of your private information is now available to just about anyone on the internet. If you were to do a Google search of your own name, you'd find an incredible amount of information about yourself for public viewing that you thought no one could possibly know about you. Normal facts like your birthday, how much you make, where you work, where you live, if you're in debt or declared bankruptcy. They're all facts that are readily available to almost anyone that chooses to do a little internet search. Even your social security number, which is supposed to be private, is now being used as a general identification number when applying for many things like a credit card, a mortgage, or even at your doctor's office. And most people just go along with it because it's easier. Why fight the system? And how many of you still use just one password on all of your accounts? You know, that password that's easy to remember? That's exactly the one that's easy to crack for any third-rate hacker to be able to get into all of your financial accounts, as well as your own personal emails. You really need to stop doing that, guys. I'm going to put a couple of links in the description below to send you to a couple of really good password managers that you need to take a look at. One is called LastPass. That's the one I use all the time. And the other is called 1Password. They're both incredible password managers. You just need one password to remember to sign into them. And then you can use a lot of varied passwords uh, that, are, that are almost impossible to crack. In fact, they generate the passwords for you. And you don't have to remember them. You just need that one password to get into your account. Now, of course, that password has to be a good one as well. But it's only one password that you have to remember. So check them out in the description below. Now, back to VPNs. With a VPN or a virtual private network, along with a little password management, that can change all of that for you. Now, just what is a VPN and what can it do for you? Well, a VPN is a service that you sign up for online. It can either carry a monthly fee or you can pay yearly, usually for a substantial discount. Some are more expensive, some are cheaper, some are even free. And I'm going to do a separate video on that later in the week. When you log into your chosen VPN service, you're setting up a so-called virtual network. The virtual being a private connection between you and the website you're visiting. It's private because no one else is capable of seeing or monitoring the websites that you're visiting. And it's a network because you are tapping into a special network of servers that are placed in various spots throughout the world. Your IP address is your own personal internet address which points directly to you and that anyone can see and track. When you sign into a VPN, your internet traffic is securely and privately routed through an internet tunnel to one of these network servers and then connected to whatever website you're visiting. The result is that your IP address has changed and now it looks like it originates from the area of the world where the server you connected to is located. Another benefit of a VPN is allowing you to watch content on the internet which is region locked. 
So if you reside in a country that is blocked from watching content from another country, you just connect to a server in that country and you're now unblocked. Now when looking for a quality VPN service, you want to make sure they don't keep logs of anyone's internet traffic. That way, all of your searches are guaranteed to be completely private and away from snooping eyes. That's why I personally recommend IPVanish and ExpressVPN. They're two excellent no-log virtual private networks. And right now, I've got two great discount links in the description below. Just click on them. It'll send you over to their website. Check them out. You know, you're going to save a ton of money on these discount links. And it's also going to help out the Rich Man channel because they are affiliate links. And I really do appreciate it, guys. And I want you to protect yourself. So even if you don't use either of these services, make sure you either get a sign up for a free v VPN service or, or another service that's readily available online. There's a, there's a ton of VPNs right now. But these are the two that I personally have tried out and I recommend and I use all the time. So that's it for today, guys. This is Rich Man. I'll see you in the next video.